So we're getting this break right here at that lower cervical. I'm going to slip with dorsal right in here, okay? And this is the one that brought you in here, right here. That's that fifth lumbar, okay? Mm -hmm. Really common on lifters there. So let's check out your SI joint here. What I'm looking for is my finger should drop when you're... Lift your right leg. Okay, left. So I'm looking to make sure that PSI drop, PSI is dropped right and left. So right side. A little bit less motion on the right side, but we're going to check that in a minute. That major problem is a fifth lumbar. Mm -hmm. On the X-ray, that fifth lumbar is posterior, and that's what's that's what's pinching that nerve. It's moved backwards, and that's pinching that nerve. So that's going to affect you. So that'll affect you most when you're in like the squat, the seated position at the bottom there. And then you'll feel like you're crumbling down there, okay? So let's set that L5 on you. Go ahead, bring it up. Okay. This upper dorsal area gets uh, really beat up on MMA guys and uh, weightlifters because the bars are up here. Uh, and then you guys always have their face down. Okay. You can see everything coming down here. Right to the other side, and that's good. Obviously, it was the squatting that brought you in here. Mm. What was, uh, how's that going now? It's going a lot better. Um, I've been starting to work on, like I said, the uh, the single leg, um, just kind of giving more uh, um, focus on my muscles. I did do that one day of squatting, and then it, it felt so much more. I felt so much stronger and like more stability, um, more glute activation instead of actually like uh, quad and like hamstring domination, which was usually what I had before. So it was a lot better muscle control. Tell me about the, um, most people when they feel this, it's they, they get like this crumbling effect when they get yeah. down there. They get down, they have very strong legs like you, but they get down there and they feel like they're back collapsing. Yeah. And that's almost 100% a disc issue with that. Um, how, did, how are you holding up when you get down in the... So yeah, like the last time I went heavy, um, uh, like the heaviest I went was 340. I came down, went back up, halfway up. I, I basically what, had the same thing you said as crumbled and so my entire form just went out the window. I got it up, but it was not pretty at all. Um, and it just was that I couldn't keep that form strong because of what felt like just crumbled, like you said. Yeah. Just deteriorating of the form. How's that holding up now? A lot better. Yeah, Good. I just feel so much more stronger and uh, um, more in line. Yeah, it's because you are, man. <laughs> because we see a lot of athletes and just regular everyday people with disc injuries, I'm going to explain a little bit of this at the end exactly how we come to the conclusion of what's going on and what we do to address it. Most of the time, people come into the office with back pain or neck pain and they think it's a muscle but very rarely are you damaging muscle when you're lifting or when you're sitting it's almost 100 percent of the time a disc when you squat or you deadlift or just sitting what you're doing is you're actually starting to put more stress on that area even with proper form it doesn't matter there's at least 50 percent more stress on the disc just being in a seated position. So if this is more of an issue on you, then you can almost be rest assured you have a disc problem. On this case right here, L5 has shifted backwards. And that is making that hole where the nerves come out smaller, but it's really the damage to the disc and it's an inflammation that's compressing that nerve that's starting to cause issues in the patient. In the Gonstead system, we look for this misalignment and we give that a very specific adjustment to restore that more normal position for that vertebrae and allow the body to work normally.